one. Um, as you can see, it's a, a new place sitting outside. Mark's idea, but he didn't realise that the sun is actually sun, yeah, shining yeah. right in our faces. Yeah, I said if we sit where we normally sit at the dinette, the sun's going to be shining through the window in our faces. So, so let's, let's do it let's, out let's here. Let's sit outside so the sun is <laughs> shining on our faces. But we'll do our best. Yeah. We'll do our best. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this week's little video is about boat security. Yeah, boat security, really. Mm. Um, yeah, just lately there seem to have been a lot of um, posts on Facebook. Um, where people's boats have been getting broken into. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah, I don't know whether this was anything to do with lockdown or it was just... Just something we noticed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we've been meaning to upgrade the locks on our boat for the 18 months we've been aboard. Yeah. Never got round to it. This was prompting us to do it a little bit more. Yeah. And we was in a situation where we knew of a boat that had been broken into yeah. that had um, supposedly been made secure. Well, it came to our attention that it wasn't, it wasn't. secure. Mm. Through the powers of Facebook, we managed to contact the owners and uh, we could actually make it secure, but that was going to mean us entering the boat. Yeah. Didn't want to do that without Asking contacting Asking their the... permission, yeah. So I managed to uh, get in touch with them. They said, yeah, yeah, go ahead, that's fine. Well, that was... It was a shock. It was, it yeah. was not pleasant for, to see. For, for us two to cry about somebody else's boat getting yeah, broken it into was, it was awful it was just the mess they made you'd have mm. thought the boat would have been turned upside down and yeah. uh, and shaken it, it was, was horrible. yeah absolutely devastating it was brushing dustbins and bits and pieces yeah, so on. we did a little bit of a tidy up so that they didn't have that when they got back to the boat when they do get back yeah, to the yeah, boat put, put stuff in the wrong cupboards so, <laughs> most so probably so if yeah the most probably if you're most watching probably. this we're sorry about that yeah, yeah sorry yeah so I then decided to get my locks ordered, mm -hmm. so i have done a little bit of research of what I wanted. Um, so we had uh, the bow doors, stern doors and side hatch to secure. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to take you through what I've done on the bow and the stern. Yeah. Right, I'm in the well deck and I've got my new lock for the front door that I'm now going to attempt to fit. I've got to do a a couple of little modifications if I just put the turn the camera around I'll explain what I mean now because the door there we go point your finger because the door has this lip on it the the lock has a gap behind so ideally I need two plates the same size as those locks um, but I haven't got any metal plate the only problem is I have 8mm bolts and 6mm penny washers so I've got to drill drill those out to 8mm because I can't get any locally and I need 4 per hole so 4, 6, I need 24 of these drilling out so I've got a little vice hit out the back somewhere so I'm now going to find that and uh, get that set up right should have uh, got my tripod out really um, but I'm going to go Straight in, no foreplay, 8mm bit, see if that will do it. If, if it doesn't, if it snags too much, I will have to uh, sort of do it in stages. I'm uh, uh, trying to smile. Top tip, when fitting the lock, do not place your locks here, or the brackets for the locks here. Because as you step forward, you kick them. You kick the one that was there straight in the water. And it's quite deep and very muddy there as I found. So that's part of my 60 pound lock disappeared. Um, I have a magnet so I feel a little bit of magnet fishing coming on. Right, so now for a bit of magnet fishing. Well, I got it out with the magnet, luckily. Top tip, buy, as soon as you get on a boat, buy a magnet. Don't do what we do, don't 
Um, we wait until we lost a couple of things and then bought a magnet. They're, they're not cheap, um, but this lock was a £60 lock, so uh, losing half of it, it was absolutely useless. So this has paid for itself time and time again. Right, the uh, drilling the washers out wasn't working, um, so what I've done, and I'll show you when I'm fitting them on the doors, I've made some wooden temporary spacers uh, to space them off. It's a little bit too thick, but that will that will suffice until I can get some metal plate. Right, so I've got my spacers. Um, now I'm going to mark the first one, and rather than drill all three holes to start with, I'm going to get it there, mark one hole, centre punch it, drill that hole, then I can put the bolt through, hold it in place while I mark the other holes. Then if there's any discrepancies, we're not going to have holes all over the place. Automatic centre punch. And again, like last time, I'll start off with a 3mm, go up to a 6mm, and then the 8mm drill bit so that it doesn't snag in the uh, metalwork. Second top tip of the day, if you're wearing Crocs, be prepared for bits of hot swore falling in and burning the ends of your toes. De Deb's laughing. <laughs> oh my days. Oh, well, I thought you got cramped. And it's just the washer and the nylon lock nut to go on the back. And I'm going to have to do hacksaw the excess off on those bolts as well. Right, that's the first half fitted. Let me show you. So that's all fitted there nicely. You can see the, the wooden spacer, just spacing that off for a few mil. And that's what it looks like inside. So it's just a matter of getting the other spacer, the other bracket, fitting that there, and we're ready to go. Right, so I don't know whether you guys have seen this type of lock before. A solder's a van lock. Um, you can't undo those nuts there. Ouch! Don't drop the lock on your foot. And this is the this is the lock. That then fits on there. And all heavy duty. Again. To undo it. Key goes in the side. That pulls out and the lock comes off. And I know what some of you will say, if they want to get in there they will, but <laughs> this is going to make it a little bit more um, awkward for them. Yeah, so that's the that's the, uh, how -to. That's the pointy end, um, now secure. Yeah, and, and it's just the stern yeah, to do. Um, we're, well, I say we're fortunate, I assume we are, we've got, got port, porthole windows so yeah. um, for anybody to get through the windows they're going to be have to be very very small yeah. um, or even lower a child through there to pass stuff out. But yeah they, and, that, and once they're in, once the boat is all locked you up can't, you can't get yeah, out, they can, like, only open through the same Yale, window. Yale lock to, yeah. Um, let and, them open. and I think a, a lot of people like a lot of people do say well if they want to break in they will break yeah, in yeah. but we've made it extremely yeah, difficult yeah. I, I think a lot of the break-ins are just opportunist break break-ins yeah, so. yeah. and because we live aboard um, we never really leave the no, boat no we don't now, shopping no. shopping trips the odd um, go out for a couple of hours with the dog but the boat has never left overnight no. um, the only time we've ever left it overnight was has been in a, in a marina. Yeah, yeah. I would never leave it overnight just on the 
um, on the cut. It's just our oh, personal feeling. Yeah, a lot of people do, feelings. and a lot of people have done it for years and haven't had any problems. Um, other people have had problems, so. Right, this is just gonna be a, a short, not how to, but how I do, um, fit a new Harspen staple on my rear doors and hatch uh, for extra security. Yeah, thank God for Amazon collection points. We've got some Amazon lockers at Martin's News Agents. The one that I've got from the back door is, and it's, um, it's what they call sold secure. Um, we, we remember these phrases from when we um, had the caravan. A lot of the caravan wheel locks and hitch locks were all sold secure and you get different ratings, but they're all tested by independent people. And this is a very, very heavy duty Harsman staple um, with a very heavy duty six pin lock. So I'm gonna be fitting those today and uh, showing you not how to, but how I do it. Now I'm never 100% sure with these. With this, it's called a Harspen staple, but I don't, I've never really um, found out which part is the Harspen, which part is the staple, so maybe you guys can tell me. Anyway, this, this part here is gonna replace, I'll, I'll zoom in on this on the editing, I'm gonna replace this lock, and that's just big enough to do it. We've got some heavy duty bolts to go through and there's also a plate to go on the, the back side of it uh, to stop that being ripped out. Um, the hasp or the staple, whichever that is, is going to fit in place of this flimsy one. Um, when I bought this I actually thought this was hinged but um, when it's not being used that piece actually comes off, that will be left there and then when you you want to use it, you just put that back on, hold that, and uh, you're all secure. Alright, so the first thing we've got to do is just take the old locking mechanism off. Aha, I can see you now. that on there, plate to go on the back and we've got a washer and uh, a nylock locking nut to go on each of the uh, bolts. If you saw those big swirls of swarf, um, <laughs> that's why you should wear safety glasses because they will fling off and uh, poke you in the eye. So to secure the boat, all we'll do, pop that on there, the new sold secure high security padlock, and that's a damn sight securer than it was. So that's the second lock you've just um, seen fitted at the rounded end, <laughs> or as, as the stern as Debbie the likes stern. to call it. Um, so that just leaves the side hatch. I'll cover that in another video because that involved a little bit of upcycling and homemade yeah. fabrication. He's a clever dude. Yeah, yeah. But we'll, like I say, we'll cover that in a in another, another video. video. Yeah. So I think that's about enough for us waffling on this week. Yes, yes. Just hope you enjoyed it. Big thank you uh, to this week's patrons. Yes, which are Simon and James and and Karen Helfand. Yeah. So thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Really, really appreciate, appreciate it. your. Yeah, supporting the channel. So I think that is it That's for this about week. It. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, say it every week. You probably get bored of saying it, but I mean it. If you <laughs> like the video, press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, press the subscribe button. And if you want future notifications of any of the videos we upload, the bell icon. And most importantly of all, your comments. Love your comments. Your comments. We yeah. answer all of those. Thank you so much for taking the time to do it. Yeah. And it's lovely. Uh, see you all next week. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.